I searched on the internet for about a couple of months trying to find a ice cream maker with a stainless steel mixing bowl. I was tired of getting aluminum oxide in my ice cream. I think it's unhealthy. A lot of these uh, ice cream makers, most of them have these aluminum mixing bowls and after a while you try to clean them with a sponge you'll see that the bottom of the bowl uh, will have a black looking substance which is sort of a uh, aluminum oxide in the bottom of the container. If it has it when you're cleaning it, probably have it when you're eating it. So anyway, uh, what I did is found uh, this ice cream maker, a Cuisinart ICE slash BC 50 BC series uh, commercial quality ice cream maker. That's an ICE 50 BC series commercial quality ice cream maker. I called that company. They uh, did say they had a stainless steel, uh, what do they call it, a low low grade stainless steel mixing bowl. However, this is the exact mixing bowl that comes with it and this mixing bowl is made of aluminum. Uh, so I decided I'd have to make my own stainless steel, or get my own stainless steel mixing bowl. Just as luck had it, uh, the day I, that machine came in, I went to Albertson supermarket and I found this mixing bowl, the stainless steel one, which had exactly the same uh, outside diameter as the aluminum one and uh, that had a sticker on the bottom of it that said made in India and it was uh, imported by a company called Bradshaw International uh, Incorporated a company in California um, went to their website and couldn't find anything but that's what was on there what I did uh, there's the original mixing bowl that came with the uh, ice cream maker and it, uh, the new bowl happened to be about an inch longer so I had to uh, do some modifications to make it fit the machine. What I did, I put it on my uh, table saw, got a metal cutting blade, and then I uh, didn't push the cylinder through. I actually rotated the cylinder just at the very edge of this blade, scored it all the way around, and then pushed it through just about a quarter of an inch and slowly rotated the cylinder until uh, the outside piece did fall off. Then I took a uh, grinding tool and removed the burr on the inside and outside of the cylinder. Then you can see the, the same diameter. Uh, actually I went up to the diameter the very top lip here where the uh, handle was and that's what the diameter I ended up with on this machine. You can see the end the very top to that top. Then I went ahead and turned this thing sideways and put a little notch with the blade made a little sideways notch on both sides and then I drilled a hole right in the center so that the uh, handle from the original bucket could fit on this one. And it's very nice the way it works like that because this one actually has a sideways notch in it as well, the one that original one. So when you turn this sideways you can pull it in or out and when you lift it up it gets locked in place. It's a good system. You try to drill this stuff uh, without the notch and your drill bit will run all over the place anyway. So that notch actually helps you drill the hole. Worked out really well. Now the only problem is, is this has a lip on it and this doesn't have a lip on it. So I decided to make a lip, took my pliers, I took channel locks, our open end adjustable rend wrench, slid them in about three eighths of an inch and just pulled it down all the way around. It slid the wrench around about every quarter inch. I had to mark, bend it down. It bends fairly easy and it uh, actually comes out not that bad. It just takes a little bit of work. I'll show you several pictures of how I did it. After you get done then there's your finished bowl. You got your nice stainless steel. It's not going to have the aluminum oxide in it. I think it's a healthier product. I don't know why uh, these ice cream companies don't make them. Anyway, here's the way this machine came. Here's the stainless the aluminum bowl inside, and here's the stainless steel. I take that out. Got my new bucket, my new mixing bowl. Put it in. Put the top on. Fits just nice and perfect. Sometimes you have to put your finger in the addition where you add the cream. You push the bowl over just a little bit. It gets caught on the lip there. There it's ready to go. Went ahead and put my cream in it. Put the machine together. Started moving. Uh, there's the ice cream finished product. And what I found, the only drawback with this whole thing is that the stainless steel actually takes twice as much time to make the ice cream as the aluminum bucket. I'm not sure why that is. I guess the aluminum must transfer the heat at a different rate. But uh, I can make about, these buckets are approximately a quart and a half and uh, I can uh, make the ice cream get hard in about 30 minutes with the aluminum bucket but the uh, stainless steel takes about an hour however I think it's healthier product 
Good luck uh, with your ice cream maker.